I don't know if people are aware, but your dad's family owns the New York Giants, okay? Your mom's family owns the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> and these teams, they don't play each other, uh, I don't think on Thanksgiving, but they do play each other, and you have to be in the house sometimes when your mom's team, and not the team she roots for, the team that is her team, <laughs> is rooting against her father's team. What do you do? What is that like? Well, it rarely happens. Like, right. very rarely happens. But yes, it is happening uh, this coming weekend. Um, the good news is, is that we always win. So <laughs> we can always, we, we're just, someone's so always happy. That's so funny that you say it that way, because my whole personality is, we always lose. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine, was it intimidating? Let's say you had a, you know, met a guy, boyfriend, you want to bring him back to the house, and, you know, it's this big football family. Would that be intimidating yeah. for her? Yeah, I date a lot of, somehow I end up dating a lot of Englishmen. Um, which, you know, uh, most of them... What do you mean, somehow? What is that? You make, <laughs> you make it sound like they just washed up on shore. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> what have we here? Um, I think there's an app just for English. Exactly. <laughs> just bring them up. Yeah. Well, anyway, they like soccer, not football. Yeah. So, okay, so well, you bring so, by the so house, it'd be like, oh, this is the well, one listen, where you can use your Well, listen, my boyfriend right hands. now, my boyfriend Jamie is amazing, and he surprised me one day when we first started dating. He... Um, spent a night where all he did was watch all the, the previous season of the Giants, um, their, every game. And so the next time we watched a game together, he knew everything about it, which was amazing. So he did his homework. He did his homework. But I, I was dating someone a long time ago who um, came to visit my parents um, not too long after the Giants won the Super Bowl and, and the trophy had just arrived. And my parents, my mom specifically, was very excited about this. And she, um, she said, you know, would you like to see it? Would you like to hold it? They've, they've sent white gloves that you put on before you can hold the trophy. Sure. And so he was a very enthusiastic man. Mm -hmm. And he put on the gloves, and then he went to lift up the trophy. But he lifted it up from, from the base, which we didn't know wasn't connected to the trophy. And it fell. And in slow motion, I saw he was wearing these steel-toed boots which he was a pretty good soccer player. And he kicked his foot up and caught it. He caught the trophy with his boot and, and then caught it in his hands. And he dented just a tiny Yeah, he part. didn't catch it. <laughs> he kick-stopped it. He, he kicked the... Uh... It never hit the ground, though. And I look over at my dad, who's in the kitchen, just watching the whole thing happen. And he was just like... <laughs> and that was the end. We, we broke up and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he dented it.